Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my life wire and today I received the adapter from Minota AF2 Sony E-mount finally uh, In case you didn't know I bought this semi of 35 mm uh, T 1.5 lens and uh, Amazon sent me the wrong uh, Copy they sent me the a mount instead of e mounts that I ordered and on the box It says e mount, but I actually the lens itself is a mount which is bizarre Clearly didn't label it correctly, uh, so I bought adapter. I was uh, kind of a skeptical about to buying adapter because I'm not sure if it will work, but it worked. It works fantastically. It works on full frame, and it's the correct mount. Because I have also read some uh, comments about the adapter that doesn't work. It doesn't attach to the lens. There's some defect. The, the metal part comes out and it stop prevents you from. Uh, properly attached to the lens itself uh, but it didn't happen to my copy didn't ha happen to uh, this combination so I'm very happy and yeah this is a test video shot with the semi 35 millimeter lens and uh, yeah I'm very happy about this so I made this video just to show you how it looks right now it's at uh, maximum aperture t1.5 Need to get used to saying T 1.5 instead of F. All right, and I'm gonna show you the this setup. I'm currently using a tripod. And I should just some clip of this, and you can see here. All right, so this is the setup. So here, this part, this is the lens itself, and this part is the adapter. As you can see with the adapter together the lens itself looks enormous it looks huge mostly it's long it's not super heavy but it's super long and uh, it's kind of a uh, weird holding a lens like this and it's only 35 millimeter um, with the adapter uh, not I mean with the hood looks pretty badass but you can also take it off and it still looks pretty cool look at that it's a beautiful beautiful lens uh, the focus ring very smooth and the aperture ring works perfectly and here you have uh, this uh, I suppose this to adjust the uh, aperture but it actually it doesn't work you can just use the one on the lens itself um, yeah that's the setup for my 35mm uh, on adapter on A7R2 this is how it looks. You can be a little bit. I'll, I'll turn it so you can see from this angle. And yeah, it's a little bit dark. Turn from this angle. Pretty badass. The thing is, this these gear are very. It could hook on something. Hook on your clothes when you carry it around, maybe. So there's a potential danger there. Uh, just to you know. It's weird. Feels weird using a cine lens to, to shoot uh, run and gun stuff, shoot the photography stuff. But yeah, that's what we get. Only 336 euros, so it's a very good deal. If you want to get a normal version, it's gonna cost 450. If you want to get um, the AF version, it's gonna cost over 500. So this one is really a bargain. Um, yeah. Just wish that they didn't send me the wrong copy. Uh, if it was uh, E-mount, I suppose it would be a little bit shorter. All right, that's it. And just to show you the glass itself, it's beautiful. I can turn this out. Now it's a smallest aperture and open it up. Look at that, smooth, deep click aperture. It's beautiful. It is truly beautiful. So this is gonna be my primary lens to use because I found myself when I shoot with a super zoom lens, 24 to 240. I very often I zoom in just a little bit. I zoom in just a little bit to shoot landscape. I just want to get a little bit closer, but I don't want to go to 50 millimeter. 50 millimeter is a little bit too close. So I think 35 is actually the perfect focal range for me. 
Uh, so I'm gonna try to use this lens exclusively unless I go on a trip that requires some more longer range uh, then I will just use this one um, yeah I'm very excited about this once I got enough time I will go uh, travel go on a little trip and test it out right that's it for this video thanks for watching thank you for your attention and uh, I will do more sample photo and video and do some review in the future stay tuned if you want to see those and subscribe to my channel if you like I have a lot of uh, lens, camera, gear review alright, see you